I'll get it. Happy Monday, fellow furniture dorks. I'm Teresa with Rave Home Collection. You don't even know what day it is because you've been gone so long. I don't know what day it is that I'm looking. I must be in the tall seat because I'm like towering over your cuteness today. Yeah, mine's really low and yours is really tall. Oh, so. it is. Anyway, so, hi. Hi, and I'm Melissa with Rave Home Stage. And I just needed it show. I was like, she doesn't even know what day I, it is. And usually right before I go on, I'm like, all right, what are we doing? What's today? I don't even know. Yeah. It's Monday. We're making over some good stuff, like different stuff today that, of course, we're doing on the fly. And it's fun. It's not stuff we've really done for y'all before. Right. So I've had a lot of questions on Facebook and I really, or not Facebook, YouTube. And I really appreciate all the new followers that we got from Jamie Ray Vintage. Yay! We Yay. love that girl. You probably haven't been watching because you've been out of town. I've been busy doing nothing. But, but let me tell you, if you haven't been watching Jamie Ray Vintage in the last week and a half, She's been calling us out a little bit? Almost every episode. Seriously? Seriously. We're kind of a big deal. And they're both getting the swirl technique down. Are they? <laughs> well, Zeb is struggling, but Jamie's got it That's down. She's got it down. I mean, you know. She's like girl knows her right stuff. on it. That's fantastic. So um, I think that's actually easier for her than it is for Zeb. Because right. Zeb is so good at the pouncy pouncy. And he's used to it. He's used he's to it. Mm -hmm. And Jamie has never really liked her stencil technique, so I think it's easier for her to change. Whereas right. Zeb's really feels She was confident. willing to try something new. Yeah, because um, she was never confident with what she was doing before. Anyway, I've been getting a lot, a lot of questions on doing fabric. Mm -hmm. And we've been trying to do things, trying to figure out what we can do for the holidays. Yeah. Because we know that that's coming really fast. Like tomorrow, it feels like. Yeah, so um, we wanted to see what we could do for the holidays. And I lucked out and got a whole bunch of great pillows. <gasps> Are from so awesome. Saro, which is one of my favorite for my staging company. We buy a lot, a lot of pillows mm -hmm. from Saro. Oh, they're the pillow people. <laughs> they are the pillow people. They make the best pillows yeah, at the best prices. prices. Mm -hmm. And so I bought a ton of the, like the, um, in, not the inserts, the, the outside, the cover, the cover themselves. Mm -hmm. And a lot of them are blank, but they have like gold on them or whatever. They have striping. Mm -hmm. And so this was my first attempt at doing um about doing leafing on a pillow like seven minutes ago like seven minutes ago okay yeah. so maybe 15 but she, you know she just so, it out no, just like that it, it, look, it looks it looks better from a distance oh, well, it's pretty like, um, so it's what i did figure out is that this has got a really wide weave and so i think that wasn't as good for what i was doing so i'm going to try it on a tighter weave here just to pull that detail together to pull the detail together because mm -hmm. like it has such a wide weave that I think the detail got lost because mm -hmm. the sizing couldn't stick to everything properly. Right. So I'm gonna try it on this one, and then I'm gonna do um, a couple of JRV stencils, and I'm gonna add some leafing to them, and I'm gonna talk about paint and taking care of them and washing them That's and things question. like that. Because right. um, I get that question, I've gotten that question like four or five times at least on mm -hmm. every video that we've done on stenciling, right. on stenciling on fabric. So I yeah. wanted to address that. Okay. Um, and on the lines of stenciling, we also sell Maker Studio has um, a ceramic paint and a fabric paint. So I'm just going to kind of play around with both. We have our mesh stencils um, as well. So I'm just going to do some ceramics and some napkins, like little, you know, farm sayings and celebrate and bon appetit and just little fun things on some plates and cups and we'll see what happens. Right. And so these are really fun to do. They're inexpensive. You can kind of almost mass produce them, mm -hmm. especially with the mesh, because that's a lot like screen printing. Yeah. Um, so you can really knock those out. I'm going to say one thing I'm yeah, going to recommend how to do, uh, yeah, tell me how is to that you're definitely going to want to make sure that you have something under this so, that, find you some card so that it cardboard. doesn't bleed between okay. the sheets. Oh, that's true. I see what you're saying. Right? So it doesn't bleed between the sheets. Now, this is a napkin, correct? So how, like, where? Right. Like, I'm going to so go. So if I were folding a napkin. On the farm. I don't, which I fold so many napkins in my life. And I none because I use paper towels because I'm that girl. Um, is when I'm folding napkins, typically there's a couple different ways. You can do it this way and then you're going to have, you know, a ring oh, to see. hold it like that. Okay. Um, or you would do it. Thank you, Miss Sue. That's perfect. Or more commonly, you would do it like this. I like the three because I like a wide. Okay. But you could also do it so that it's more like this, so that it's in the middle. Okay. Um, it kind of just depends. I mean, a lot of people just do it the standard sideway too, so that you have the stripe in there, um, and then you would have that with it. So really. It doesn't matter how you fold it. Okay. What matters is what you're using on what it. you want to, you know, do you want the grain sack stripe in it? 
Yeah. Do you want sense. it at the top or the bottom? Because okay. you could also do it so that it was at the bottom. You would just, you know, fold, fold in then. I kind of like that, actually. Um, we could just rip, rip, rip these. These are Ikea. Okay. Um, we could just rip that off. Okay. Um, you know, so that you were like this. I actually like that. And then, you know, you could, you could knock and ring them or whatever. And, and you have the stripe on the bottom. So it doesn't really matter how you okay. choose to do it. Okay. It just matters that you decide in advance before you, you just start throwing paint all over throwing paint all over. And make sure, like you said, to wherever that's going to be, put it like on the board or someplace where it doesn't bleed through right. so we know. All right. So I have this mesh stencil, which I did the B on the other one that I said I think is a little wide grain. Um, I'm hoping it's dry enough to do this. Um, we did open a clean one because we used the heck out of this one, man. Oh, for sure. That's the like heck one of the favorites. Oh, shoot. I didn't clean off my right. It's one of the favorites. Oh. All right. I'm going to use a little bit on this. And we just have these little paint separators, at least that I'm going to use for these, just to put a couple colors in. This is my fabric paint. Now, I've got a quick question on the Maker Studio because I was watching a video uh, last week, and uh, apparently they've got new ceramic paints. They do. We don't have them yet. Oh. We don't have the new ones. So these are the ones that you do have to bake. Yep, you will. We will have to bake them. We don't oh. have the new ones yet. Okay. I actually tried to get on and order all kinds of new stuff, and their website was not allowing me to check out, which is weird. That is weird. So, they don't want your money. They didn't want my money. Can really? I have a paper towel, ma'am? You betcha you can. So the Maker Studio are great because they're mesh stencils. They're self adhesive. I just used this like we mentioned a couple minutes ago. So mine's still a little damp. I want to. Use this to kind of lay it down a little flatter. I just stuck the the like piece that it goes on in between it, and then I can just wipe that off later. Mm -hmm. um, so, like I said, mine's a little damp, so I'm still hoping this will work. So for me, I have um, some sizing gel, liquid sizing, okay, gilding size, um, and basically gilding size works as the glue if you will okay. that makes the stencil work that makes the that makes the gilding stick to it and this is the same brush i just used a few minutes ago we do sell these brushes but any brush will do okay um if you're looking for this brush this is going to be under our alcohol ink section because it's a ranger okay um All right, I'm just... i think it comes in a pack of brushes but i'm just going to basically paint right through my stencil All right. and I'm gonna make sure that it's pretty liberal on there and I'm gonna use just sort of rub it in a little bit because I want to make sure it gets through all the little bits of this and I'm definitely gonna say that this is not gonna be as detailed as gilding as if you were doing it with ink or with paint okay because well one you kind of have to have this fairly liquidy to go through and anytime you do that you take the chance that it's going to bleed out a little bit right okay. and um also gilding or rather the, the gilding paper itself you know we're going to lay it on top and it needs to stick to where the gilding size is and i'm just going to guess that it's not going to be as precise and it's going to be more of a broad representation than okay. getting every little piece of detail and I kind of figured out where on my napkin I want this wording to be. And I'm just starting out. I'm going to use the red um, fabric paint. And I'm just going to have on the farm. It's going to match the little red line. And I figured out where I want it on here when, once it's folded. So I've just put this underneath, a board underneath, so that nothing bleeds through and the paint stays in the fabric. So I'm just messing around a little bit here. So who's watching us today? How have you all been? I haven't seen you in a week. What's going on? I was in North Carolina on a yet another surprise trip that my husband planned. Mm. He's good like that. I think I'll keep him. Up in the mountains, get some fresh air. Oh, it was wonderful. It was very nice. I saw Hugh did some nice little motivational videos too. This He's last good week. like that. Yeah, he did. You'd think it would work on me, but mm. <laughs> not so much. No. no. I mean, I keep waking up in the morning going, oh, this is going to be the day. Put down that pizza and pick up those walking shoes. And then. Oh, Stevie pizza. would love you for it. And then what? instead you pick up the pizza and put down the walking shoes. Exactly. Cheese. That's yeah. exactly what happens. All right. So Which I get because I have to be honest that pizza is way more fun than walking shoes. Oh, girl, tell me. 
Maybe and we I'm need to eat pizza. With pizza. I was gonna say maybe we need to walk with pizza, and maybe that would be our. Home. I might be interested in that. You can walk, and then every time you walk like a quarter mile or a half a mile, you can have a slice. Get of pizza. a little bite. Okay. See, that could be an exercise plan I could be down with. Only well, we make it like cherry cheesecake. Girl, I am a sucker for cheesecake. Any kind of cheesecake. All right, I, I keep doing this. Do I want to do it kind of like I would normally do a stencil, just very little because yeah, it's I mean, fabric? Like, or you, it doesn't like matter it. on these. For the mesh, it's not going to matter. Okay. And you could actually just use your squeegee on that. You don't even have oh, to use a stencil. Brush. I was being all pouncer. sassy. I'm pouncing. Only because I just, yeah, I'm pouncing. I'm I have had a lot of people ask me if the pouncing works on fabric. I mean, not the pouncing, but if the swirly. Did they say yes? Okay. If the swirling works on stencils and on fabric, and it does. Okay. Um, so here's the fun part is now I have to wait until this is somewhat tacky to proceed. Okay. Does and by that, I do anything with that? Or I don't know. I'm afraid it will instantly dry. It only takes a couple minutes. Okay. So I'll just try to be entertaining for a couple minutes. All right. I was going to say, I've got some um, ceramic over here if you want to mess around. You know, I'm afraid to move on because I'm afraid yeah, that I'll no, get no. distracted. I hear you. And I won't pay any attention. Exactly about that. Interesting. So I'm just kind of looking at the way that this is on here. And um, I definitely think this is going to be a broad representation and not a detailed representation. But I'm optimistic. Okay. Okay. These but pillows are, I, I love them. Like I love the little grain sack in them. Yeah, these are actually from Ikea too. Oh, those are? These oh. are from Ikea. I don't usually like Ikea. So um, I wish I had ones here that we sold, but we really don't. These are from Ikea and um, I liked the neutrality of them. Mm -hmm. um, if you are here locally in the Jacksonville market, uh, know that I will be doing a live demonstration of a maker studio this Saturday from 1 to 3.30, mm. I think. I'll be here. 1 to 2.30, I think 1 to 2.30. Okay. Um, I'm gonna have all the different products out, kind of like what Teresa is doing right now. Um, but I will just have like a plethora of products. A plethora of you starting will. To get, I'm starting to get a little tacky. Give it another minute. Um, but a plethora of products. Plethora. Oh, yeah, I just spit on myself. Sorry, I won't say that again. A plethora. What was the word I couldn't say today? I don't remember. But I was on a, I was on a coaching call. Um, I'm the coach for staging. And I was trying to say something about the market, and I don't remember what the word was, but I tried it like 14 different ways. And, and <laughs> don't I, you hate that? Especially when you're trying to talk to somebody. And I'm like, I don't, you know what I'm trying to say, right? Because clearly my mouth doesn't know what I'm trying to say. I, I do that sometimes, and then after the fourth try, I just slip in the, the simplest version of that word instead. Just to, And it makes me sound simple stupid, but... Yeah, I just, I couldn't, I couldn't get it together. I don't know what it was. I couldn't get it together. Get your life together, woman. So Sue and I binge watched something yesterday while I was painting in the living room oh, yesterday evening. The days of John was watching the, the Tour de France and uh, I was painting a piece of furniture in my living room that somebody gave us, one of our viewers gave us for free. Super cool. And I love free. Well, that's the best free price ever. Nice. Free it was supposed really to be nice. one piece of furniture for free. Mm -hmm. And then it ended up there as he was getting ready to leave, they're like, should we ask them if they want the other one? Ding, 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 ding. Ding, 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 ding. Don't ask, just point it out. And um, our customers are the best. They really I are. Know. That's awesome. And she said she hasn't even been in our store yet. She just watches our lives. Aw. Oh, well, get on in here. Yeah, we'd love to see you. So she's like, the only thing I ask in, re in exchange is that you send me a picture when it's done. I love to do that. I yeah. think that's a fair, I think it's a fair request. I think so too. All right. On so the I, uh, I posted a picture of where, where, and that, the one I actually posted oh. last night, the one I was working on last night is the one, the, was the, should we ask them if they want the other one piece? Awesome. So awesome. it was the other one piece. That one looks really cool too. It's got, it's got like dragon scale. Yeah, ready. it's super Ooh, cool. It's really really cool. Neat. It is way cool. All right. So. so this is about as messy of a job as you can have. Um, once you have the, um, oh, the gold leafing pot. Once you have, yes. Once you have your sizing, it's tacky. Um, so that's just a little sticky, sticky, sticky. Okay. Um, as opposed to liquid, you know, as opposed to just wet. Right. So once it's tacky, the problem is you have to touch it to make that determination, and then you get it. On you. So you will get it on you. At least you once. will get it on you. Okay. Um, 
And then you just lay, like these come off in sheets or you know, if you're not talented, they come off in parts of sheets. Then you just lay them on and I'm just sort of tapping them. Okay. Tapping them over and I'll use my brush to tap more. I'm hoping I can pull off this one big one for the middle. Say, is it weird that I'm stressing a little bit looking at that? But I know at the end it'll be wonderful. And so I'm gonna hopefully just lay my lay it right over my knee. There we go. Okay. Oh, did it? What's that? No, it's fine. It's okay. totally fine. All right, you're good. I'm just making weird noises. Don't okay. Me. I can never tell. I know it's it's a hazard. And um, I'm gonna use my brush a little to pounce it down. Okay. And then I can pick up these pieces that aren't stuck on anything and move them to pieces that are still needing to be covered. I feel like Sue's looking for something for me. I think she is. But what I have no I idea do? what. I don't you know. Like you're on a you hunt feel like you're something. rummaging, so. Huh? You're, you feel, it sounds like you're rummaging, so we're trying to figure out what you're rummaging. Are you looking uh, for pizza? You're gonna have a lot of leftovers on that one. I oh. thought we could save them. Okay, that's fair. Okay, so now that I have everything stuck, it does, they don't have to, it doesn't have to dry or anything. There's there's really no drying. Um, oh, okay. What do you need? I mean, that's gonna be interesting. Okay, so then I'm gonna pounce with my with my very, this is a soft brush. Um, <laughs> it's got a lot of stuff on there. Yeah, this is a soft brush. Okay. So I'm just gonna pounce it on here and start sort of wiping away anything that hasn't stuck. And I still see some areas that have moisture. Wow. Apparently nobody's answering Ooh, the phone. Oh, we got it. And that'll be nice. nice and all folded in and super cute. I like the little the little bit you put on the bottom there. Thank you. Now, as far as these go, Melissa, how what is the washing process on these? Do you have to spot clean these? because of this or? Um, no, because they're the paint that's made for this, what you would do is you would take an iron and you would heat press it. Okay. So whatever the- towel, right? Um, usually, you don't have to, but a lot of people like to put a towel over it. Okay. Um, mostly to protect their iron from the ink. Okay. 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 But whatever the fabric setting is, so this is cotton, so I'd want to use a cotton setting. Okay. If I had linen, I'd want to use a linen. Okay. If I had polyester, I'd want to use poly, right? Whatever it is. Okay. So whatever your fabric setting is, what that's appropriate, um, you might want to lay a, lay a washcloth or a towel just to protect the ink from transferring onto your iron. Okay. And then you just hold it there for about 20 seconds. And it kind of sets it. And it sets it into the fibers. Okay. And then you're able to wash it completely. Very cool. And so you can do that on clothing, on anything. This is a fun family project for the holidays. Too. It really it is. is. It and is then real fun to do with kids. Kind of take these and you can put little rings here and just cute. All right, I'm gonna do another one with another little stencil. So I think that I might have not put enough sizing down. It's not sticking quite as well. Um, yeah, it so like it's this. definitely, as far as detail or whatever, like I feel like it, you can definitely still see the pattern but it's just not crisp. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I don't know if maybe I let it dry too long. I still see, like I still see moisture here, so I don't know, um, maybe I put it on too early. I'm gonna just try to fill in some of the space. I'm really good with gilding on furniture. I'm, this is like, this is my whole second time of trying it on fabric. <laughs> so really good on furniture less why good. should people watch us because we make mistakes so you don't have to that's gonna be a shirt i swear to you um yeah so i mean i definitely see some little areas here where i see where the sizing is but i don't see much sticking <laughs> so i'm not quite sure um i might have to follow some more videos but i am going to show how it works on a bigger scale where, because I think part of this too is that this detail is so. It's very detailed. Oh, very yeah. detailed. It's like the veiny leaves. And yeah, all of that, that it just makes it difficult. But I still think it's like, especially if you kind of like the rusticy look, which yeah. I do. Oh gosh, we I love still that here. think that it it is a fun representation. You can tell that is a bee and a laurel. It's super cute, and I love the. This is copper, right? It is copper. Yep, I love that. Um, oh my so gosh. this will oh. need, that will totally need to get washed in the sink. Okay. okay, so I'm going to move on to something that I'm a little more comfortable with. All right, and I'm just making a matching little napkin of the same one so that there can be a little set. 
So now I'm gonna move over to, Jamie Ray Vintage has this great pumpkin patch. You can't really tell what it is right now because, well. It's know, clear onto it's the. It's clear onto a piece of fabric. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to get some of the gold leafing out of my brush. <laughs> and probably your hair and your clothing. Yeah, I'm not worried about my hair and my clothing well, We're right gonna now. be seeing gold leafing for days. Right? We really are because it gets everywhere. Okay, so one of the things I wanted to talk about today when we're discussing um, stenciling on fabric is the kind of uh, materials to use. So we have the Maker Studio um, fabric paints, mm -hmm. which are specifically meant to go onto fabric. Yes, so they're, right. So they're very highly washable, all of that. That's what they're made to do. Okay. Okay, beyond that, if you were using like um, chalk paint, so whether you're using DIY paint, Bungalow, Dixie Belle, any of those, in order to get it to stay and to be permanent, okay. my recommendation would be that you added a fabric medium to it. Okay. okay. And I don't actually know if that will work with something like DIY paint because DIY clay. is clay. Yeah. And the same thing with Bungalow because Bungalow has clay in it. Okay. Um, that they are made to react, hey, I need Gator Grip over here. Um, <laughs> They are made to reactivate when, when they get, when they get wet. wet. Mm -hmm. So in my mind, if they ever got washed, mm. it would probably wash off. Yeah, yeah. Using that logic, I would agree. And I don't know because I haven't tried because to me, it doesn't make, like it wouldn't, it just wouldn't make to sense that, to do it. Like yeah. it would be counterintuitive to me to use yeah. it. So I would use a... I would either add a fabric medium, which you can pick up at Michaels and things like that. Like, okay. we don't sell it, but you can add it. Um, you can get it from Michaels and places like that. Um, or you could use something that has a top coat in it. So this is great for Wise Owl, Fusion, um, or again, something like what you're using, which is made for fabric. Okay. Okay. And so for this, what I'm doing is, thank you, is I'm using Fusion, which is made for fabric, and I've done this. Like I've made t-shirts, I've made skirt, like uh, tree skirts, I've made throw pillows. Okay. Um, I've made all kinds of things using the Fusion. And you know, it's basically the same. You, you get most of the paint out, okay? And I typically still swirl. You, there are some areas that I might pounce, but you can tape off areas that you don't want. In this case, I'm not going to, but this is gonna be a great example of using different colors in a stencil okay. and using the swirl method and sort of doing some blending, okay? So I've got a, I've got a truck here. I'm gonna make the truck red. Okay. I'm gonna not make his tires red or try not to. And the nice thing with the swirling to me still is that you can really work the paint into the fibers when you are swirling. Just kind of, yeah, it's almost like it's you're you're kind of grinding it in. Yeah. Almost. Yeah. Why did they bring the camera in and zoom in at you? Oh, I mean, you can if you want. Does everybody want to zoom in? Take a ride, people. Take a ride. All right. Hope we all took our our nausea medicines. <laughs> all right. Tell me what I'm on you. There. That. There. There you go. Yeah. Maybe a little higher. It's just me. Just Maybe switch. come a little closer. Come a little closer. Come closer. Now I'm great. Me. Okay, right there. Right there. Okay, so, um, and remember, I always say start off the stencil. That way you can kind of pull it off and have a place to pull from. So here's my little eye dip. And I can do here, but I'm mostly pulling it off here. And then I'm holding these down. Um, and then I'm just swirling. I love that. Just red swirl. That. So I'm putting a nice bright red truck on here. And it's the holidays. It's perfect. Anyway, yeah, okay. Instead of you got some chocolate in my peanut butter, you got some gold leafing in my <laughs> towels. I don't know. You put a say. little, a little zhuzh in your towel. A little zhuzh. That's what she did. Hey, zhuzh. so we were we were watching a new show, and here I'm not swirling. I'm actually, I'm actually dragging like sideways. Um, but we were we were binge watching. I started saying that we okay. were binge watching this show yesterday, and it was all about organization. Okay. What was it called? Oh. The maker? No, the uh, the the home the home edit the home edit, edit. the home edit mm. the home edit 
um, on Netflix. And they they used the word judge. They did well, use the word judge. Is it possible that we are getting around or is it possible that I just stole that and didn't know it? And I think it's, I think the second one feels more likely. Yeah, probably. <laughs> I mean. Tell it like you really feel, Melissa. I totally kife that word and I'll do it again. It just has to come back. Just like I mean, fetch needs to come back. I'm, I'm not I mean, the word fetch. 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 It's so fetch. And you gotta say it like I'm fetch. just not down with the fetch. Oh, you gotta just let it roll. I wanna be down with the fetch. I'm not down with the fetch. I don't think you wanna be down with the fetch. I feel I I'm gonna feel just like lightly do these pumpkins. I don't want them locked because I'm gonna actually put the sizing over this and I'm gonna copper these pumpkins. Oh. But I do want them to have a little background color in case it doesn't all stick. But I don't want it quite as red, and I'm probably gonna put a little tiny bit of light brown over it as well. I can't see. Okay. So now I'm gonna use my chocolate brown, and I'm mostly gonna fill in the rest of it with the chocolate brown. I like chocolate. I like chocolate too. I like chocolate. Sorry. But this is the fusion, and so again, yeah, you know, I'm not a fan of chocolate. I don't uh, dislike chocolate. It's not like, ooh, chocolate. I'm just not like, you'll never. Just don't crave it Are like you a the rest sweet of us. person? I so love sweets. But chocolate isn't quite it. No. What there's you... there's almost nothing I would do for a Klondike bar. Oh, okay. Okay. That got a little uh, escalated quickly, but I, I can't <laughs> say that I blame you. I would do the same for a double stuff Oreo. And by the way, on Oreos, the 10 second rule does not apply. You find one, <laughs> you pick it up and you eat it. That's just what you do. I mean, you know, I, yeah, That's I, I like Oreos. Double stop. But I'm telling you, if given the choice between a, you know, a to-go packet of Oreos or a to-go packet of sweet tarts. Oh, you do sweet tarts? I am You and Jake, so he's the enough. sweet, like a sweet, sour tart oh, person like yeah. that. I'm not. Not the chewy ones though. I don't like any chewies. You like the sweet tarts and the nerds and all those. Yeah. Oh my God! What are you twelve? I know. Jake yeah. is the same exact way. He loves that stuff. Um, and yeah. I like the no, chewies. Like That's them. weird. I, I hate chewies. I the consistency is just. Ugh. God, I, <laughs> I don't. What you no. do you like them or you don't? I, love them. I cannot Me stand too. that. I cannot stand that in my teeth thing. Mm -hmm. Then I want Twizzlers, but mm -hmm. I don't like the black licorice. I like the strawberry Twizzlers. She likes the. Do you like the black licorice too? No, oh, she always her. gets the, the I'll red eat ones. I'll eat the red vines. Red vines, that's I'll what it is. The red too. vines, you, she keeps red vines in her truck all the time. I got Twizzlers in there right now. Oh my God, I haven't had a Twizzler since. I see where I'm not even getting one. I can't oh, I might have bled a little bit on that one because I wasn't holding it down when I went across it. So I might have a little bleeding on my patch. All right. That was totally my fault because I didn't pull enough off and then I didn't hold it down when I went over it. But in the end, it'll be fine. All right, any tips on the ceramic painting? Just kind of the same thing? Just Same thing, you can actually, um, so you can use the stencil brush or okay. you can use, because again, it's mesh, right. you can use the um, the scraper, okay. right, that you would normally use, like a... Oh, that little rubber scraper? Yep, okay. yep, yep. Okay. Um, and it's, because really the mesh stencils are like screen printing. Yeah, they're, they're I'm so spoiled with these. I, I'm so spoiled with these. Um, so our ceramic paints do have to, as we were discussing earlier, do have to be heat set. Okay. So you put it into a cool oven and then you let it get up to 130 degrees and then you let it sit in there. I think it's for 10 minutes. 130 degrees. Okay. And then take it out. And then it's, yeah, so it's not baked. a preheated oven. No, no. It so put, it, put it into a cold oven and then it heats up. So it's still super simple. I mean, honestly. And then it'll be permanent. Okay. Dishwasher safe and all that, you think? I mean, no? honestly, wash? anything that has a pattern on it is not dishwasher safe. Okay. All right. I mean, even if you're buying from the big box companies, right. usually they're not truly dishwasher safe. Yeah, your fancy china. I mean, no. even if you use, right. even if you use Corel. Yeah. And over time, it's your pattern will pattern. wear off yeah. in the dishwasher. Very good point, darling. I love Corel. We love Corel. Oh, God, you can't break that crap. Well, you can. You can. Give it to John. <laughs> you can. Well, better might be that. I'm just going to put some brown over my stems oh, here a little bit. 
even though I'm gonna go leaf. And I'm gonna give my truck a little bit of rust, if you will. Okay. Because, you know, it's been it's sitting out a while in the weather. And... and so I'm gonna just give it somewhere on my fenders. Basically what I'm gonna do here is do a little shading, right? Okay. I'm gonna give it some more on my fenders. I feel like maybe around the door, cause you know. That's I usually like, where rust would happen. Right, yeah. Right, and then just that. a little bit here on the bed of the truck. I feel like, okay. So, so I do know I have a couple bleed points. Cause like I said, I in, in this patch area, I didn't hold it down and so I know it got under, but that's okay. Um, so now before I take this off, I'm gonna take my brush again. I'm gonna try it one, one more time. Uno mas. And I'm, I'm gonna do a much smaller and much less detailed Aww. thing. And I'm gonna use my brush and I'm gonna paint over these pumpkins. Got little tumbleweeds of gold foil. Yeah, they're gonna grow. Yeah, and I also think because tonight. I have paint down that it's not going to absorb into the fabric as much. Oh, that makes sense. Okay. And so maybe I'll have a little better luck. I hope. Aww. And I might actually make it, I might take this off and try to paint a little bit so that it actually fills up the whole pumpkin. But we'll see. Okay, so now I'm going to strip this off. Try to save these because I'm gonna do another pillow. Okay, this is weird. It's weird. So, I mean, I just have a regular amount of paint on here. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna put it back down. I mean, it's it's on there pretty good. And when I pull it up, here I'm just gonna put a little bit more just to make sure. Is it just sure. too light? It's like the stencil is kind of pulling up the paint. Yeah, I'm gonna pull back so we can watch you. Oh, so, so it's not pushing all the way through. Go get a squeegee. Okay. I think there might be one over should here. Be one right there. So here's my pillow. Can you see my can you see my shading on my truck? Don't see one there. I'm gonna try to add just a little more sizing on this pumpkin. Kinda want my pumpkins to be less less um sensory and more pumpkin-y. <laughs> I don't 100% know how they'll turn out. Oh, it's really good. You like, can you see my shade? I like that. What? It's fun to experiment. It's fun oh, to it's experiment. Really and we make mistakes, so you don't I have to. I do like the shading. That looks really cool. Yeah, I like that too. And you can't really do shading with the pouncing method very well. I'm going to bring it in a little closer while I let this sizing sit so you can see the shading better. I'll, I'll bring it up. I just want to get get a nice, good, thick layer of sizing on here. Yeah, I'm still not coming through here. I wonder if I did something I shouldn't have. All right, well, this is an experiment because I'm, for some reason, having You see issue. the shading on my truck? All the nice shading on my truck? And this is where I'm trying to make my pumpkins um, so I have this sort of glittery fabric that this is on. So I, oh, I'm in, I'm in a hard squeegee. I'll go get you one. Oh, we, is there, so this isn't doing, yeah, I'm pushing it down through. It's, I mean, I wonder if it's stuck in the mesh. I wonder if I've caked it in too much. Is that a possibility? It should still be wet enough. I mean, it's through. possible if your brush had dried paint in it that you clogged it with the dried paint. I didn't think it did, though. And even this was didn't come off very well. I mean, see, this is kind of that's the bon appetit, and I'm trying to pull off my little squiggly, which looks like this, but it's kind of not pulling much of the paint. So, uh, I'm gonna set that one here. So I'm gonna, I have a big plate like this and I have a small matching one, so I'm just gonna put another squiggly on the small one too to kind of make them match, but we'll see if I can do this the way Melissa's gonna show me with the squeegee. So there's that. And if any of this paint gets anywhere that I don't want before We can wipe it off with a wet okay. rag. That was gonna be my question. All right, am I just pulling? Yep. Still didn't do it. Mm -mm. I don't know. I, I don't know. 
I'm gonna pull it off though because I feel like it's not gonna matter. I'm still not gonna get. Yeah, so and I'll just, just wipe that, that down. Off, yeah. And yeah, I'm not quite sure. See, it just kind of didn't come off really at all. So I'm just gonna wipe this off, and I'm gonna try. I put one on a small plate that matches just the little squeegee thing or the little squeegee thing. So we'll see. And this does come off super, super quick and easy. As if it never happened, but I do need oh, something yeah, on top now. Work. I mean, I kind of don't mind the half butt look of that, but all right, so let's see. I would use a squeegee all next time. Don't use the That's the what I'm try. Yes. Don't, okay, so just use this. All right, let's I'm gonna give that another minute. All right, let's give this a try. I do know you really have to push it through. Okay. I'm gonna grab another pillow for this other one and start taping it up. Well, okay. All right, and I'm just being simple with the colors with this plate. It's just a white plate, so I'm just doing black. I just wanted to try this. I think with my cup, I might do some fancy little fun, colorful bunnies on it or something. Because I have bunny stencils, and I thought that would be fun. So let's see if this. So you do have to really press this through, from what Melissa said. So I'm trying to do that. And probably too, this thing helps without, it helps it not clog, I would guess. All right. So if you're interested in any of these pillow forms that I'm using, um, we do have them in a couple different patterns. This one is 10 by 12, or 14 by 20, and you can kind of see the shimmery gold of it, um, even before you stencil on it. These are 10.95 for the forms. Yeah, and I'm having zero luck with that. I wonder if it's just the plate being weird. That that was what. This oh, you know, it's a dollar store plate, maybe. It could be. It might just be the finish on it. Well, that's all right. I'm gonna try on these glass plates because I'm just excited to try that with color. So, I've got glass ones. Let's see what I can do with these. Let's see if I can figure out something to do with these. I think I'm gonna put a pink bunny on there because why not? I do have the right. Yeah, that's the ceramic paint. Let me make sure. Because <laughs> that would have sucked. <laughs> all right. So yeah, all of these. Um, this is our. Woo, this is another uh, Maker Studio adhesive mesh stencil. This one is the, it's a two pack. It's a folk art. It's got bunnies and then it's got raccoons and Ooh, fern really and it's super cute. Ooh. So I like the gold on my pumpkins, but it kind of came through on my truck a little bit um, because I think it stuck to some of the wet paint, which is funny. Oh, okay. um, so I'm going to just lay my stencil back on top and I'm going to just stencil real quickly over where it hit the, the wet paint. Are you laughing because I have so much? Yes. Because she has what? I have gold everywhere. Gold is sticking there. Right and I'm actually going to go ahead and since I can, since I have this back on here, I'm going to do a little shading on my pumpkins, too. Leafing is the big brother to glitter. Look, I'm literally just trying to put a couple of pink bunnies on a plate for Pete's sake. This is going to work. Sorry, I just had to throw that out there. We're going to look at a little flower, too. Let's make them look at a flower. This flower looks good. And you see how cute the leafing ends up on that pumpkin? I love the detail on that truck. See, look. Look at the pumpkins. Oh! I like the leafing, and then I added a little shading on top to give them some dimension. Precious. All right, there is this guy. Okay. So now, I. My bunnies will not. Be are you laughing because of all the? Yes, it's flying everywhere. She's 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 having a you good. You have stuff on my stuff. But it's cute, so it's That's okay. stuff everywhere. Everywhere. Stuff everywhere. I don't have pink. I have bunnies. stuff everywhere. It's everywhere. And then she just keeps. Right. Put everything okay. Blue bunny so now I'm gonna grab the Farm Fresh Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. All right, let's put a blue bunny on here instead. Our redneck girl, Merry Christmas. One blue bunny, one pink bunny. Well, because I I don't have pink in the ceramic paint. I only have it over here in the fabric paint. So. Do I need to find pink? I don't know if there is. And yeah, we have all the colors. Is there? So. If you could find pink in the ceramic real quick, I would use I don't that. Know if there is, but. And I'm just trying to reuse my tape that I had on the sides. I just need to hold it in place. I don't need anything special with it. Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm just gonna wipe off 
just to kind of try to keep it from moving around on me because you know stencils like to move they tend to be have little minds of their own they do it's really funny how it's I like know. that but they do they do like to do their own super thing and if you've been feeling like we've been doing a lot of stencils i'm sorry it's because we've had a lot of questions yeah we're just trying to and we're trying to make sure that people who have questions that we're able to answer them so they're able to fully realize you know what they want to do with the products that they're buying right so this time i'm still going to make my truck red because i like my red truck yeah it, the truck needs to be red for sure and then i've got some green for the trees in the back so All right. oh okay yay i've got a very light pink which is called always a bridesmaid Ooh. or oops i've got leave. something called tally ho which is a little bit of a darker pink I think I have that one. And then we've got the hot and spicy. Give me, oh, hot and spicy looks more orange. We're gonna have to I go I forgot with... what I was doing and made my tire a little bit red. <laughs> I was it's just, rusty. <laughs> I was just swirling away. We are gonna go with always a bridesmaid. All right. Always a bridesmaid for the win, let's see. Yeah, that'll be just enough to show really delicately on this clear plate if I do it right. All right. What I really like about the swirling too is it's kind of getting into the grit, into the fibers. And I don't know if you can see it on this other one. I'll kind of lift up so maybe you can tell. But I can still see some of the shimmer of the gold coming through, which I like since this is a gold pillow mm, right? and not just burlap. Um, I like that you can still kind of see some of that gold coming through. All right, bunnies, you are going down. And I feel like I want my Merry Christmas to be red not brown that feels like a red word doesn't it yeah i agree uh, i would say so merry christmas is a red word i feel like it's a red or a green word but honestly mainly a red word but then i have pine spruce and fir underneath it um, so that might be like green i don't know I say you gotta throw but i might do brown it. because you know i don't want it to be too crazy you don't want it to be cartoony christmas right oh come on that's the best kind not of that there's anything wrong with that all right so i know i did some burlap pillows last year and actually i didn't get them into the store i'd like literally had the pillow form since you worked at linen and oh my god um because i'd always plan on doing a class mm -hmm. and and then never did and right so like i literally had the pillow forms for years and finally decided to make them like you know like november last year oh um, so I had some left over and they've already started selling in the store here. Very awesome. Yes, so they did. So I'm thrilled. I did like a grain sack straight. Oh, okay. I saw them. Yep. That's super cute. Yeah, this is the time of year. All this stuff. Christmas is coming quick. The holidays are coming quick. Gotta do the holiday juju of the home. You gotta do it. I am shocked at how much Christmas stuff we're already selling. Yeah. To be honest. It's I, the perfect, you know, it's the perfect little cash and carry thing. They're great for gifts. They're great for decorating your own house. Like there, we have a a plethora, if you will, of Christmas things. We have so much Christmas. And fall. I mean, frankly, just the seasonal stuff. We've got it. We, we've got it. And it's it's not stuff you're going to see everywhere, which I like. I imagine with everything going on in the world today, we're just all looking forward to Christmas. Yeah. Looking forward to the holidays. I'm looking sorry. We just want to bypass everything this year and get to the end. I would kind of like to just be married in November and then go to 2021 and see if we can't start fresh. Yeah, I mean, I think all of us are ready to bypass everything and just yeah. be done. For real. I realized I accidentally taped over a little bit of this uh, holly leaf here. Oh, did you kind of reveal some of that holly? All right, I'm gonna try and pull this freaking pink, pink bunny twin up all here right, and see what happens. Go. All right, got it looks like it's there from the back. Yep, yep. And I've smushed it in there. Yep, yep. Hi, guys. That's looking cute. That's better. That's so much more normal. Hi, Precious. Oh! <laughs> Yay! Look how cute they are. They're going to see a flower in a minute, but look how cute they are. All right. Now I them. want little ice cookies. Look how precious. Little ice butter cookies. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And you know what? I'm going to put, this is like totally not seasonal. Could you do that? Could you sprinkle? Could you sprinkle like a... Like uh, like uh, powdered sugar <gasps> over your good. cookies. Oh my god! Or, have to try or you take the icing and you mush it on there like you're doing with the paint. Mm. I'm very hungry, Sue. Where's our cupcake girl? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, where is she? Keep y'all being. 
quiet today, Wait, by the way. We're going to Jacksonville, and then we're going to hear from you. <laughs> All right. So they're going to look up at a pretty little flower. And by the way, the store had a great weekend this weekend. So I just want to thank everybody who has come out and just come out, but especially those support. who've come out and spent money. Yeah. We just, and yeah, we always talk about this. The foot traffic is fantastic. We love seeing you guys come out. Even if you have, I mean, obviously we want you to buy, but it's nice to see you come in and just come in, look around, comment about how great the people are, how great the product is. And you maybe leave with, you know, a twenty dollar right, and that's fine. I just I love to see. And you can leave with nothing, and that's yeah, okay. Yeah, totally. And I love to see. The, questions about your project. I love to see y'all come in and just get excited about the store like we are. I, but, I love that. But I have to say, it is you know, as a store owner, revenue is super helpful in keeping a store open. I mean, that I suppose is the reason the store's open. Because I, I I can honestly say, with a complete and total straight face, right now, I do not even care about profit. I just care about keeping the doors open. Yeah. Um, no, I hear you. It's been, you know, we did not open at the optimal time. Uh, um, yeah. I did not have a crystal ball to foresee 2020 in my... If anybody did, for the love of Pete. Uh, uh, uh. I'm still trying to get used to football being played with fake noise. <laughs> Don't even get me started. I, I have heard some funny about that. Anna had a post on her Facebook last night. She's like, this is just weird. I'm like, it's beyond weird. It's just the strangest thing. My Steelers play tonight, and I'm going to watch them. I'm but just shading a little bit of my pieces here because I like to shade when I'm stenciling. I think it adds a lot. That's so pretty. She's like the queen of shading. She is. You could have stopped at the queen. It's in my DNA to shade. Is that a thing? Melissa, she's throwing shade. In my DNA to shade. <laughs> That's a t-shirt. <laughs> my and you should have a TR on the top or a queen thing on the top. My uh, mother was a tomboy artist, so stenciler, professional stenciler, faux finisher, blah blah. In my DNA to shade. So. People think kids don't learn from watching their parents, but they are paying attention. Oh, they learn oh, all right. I missed a snowflake. I didn't even I didn't even see the snowflakes to miss them. Oh my god. Because you know, clear on Yeah, it's a little impossible to see. And now I'm seeing where I got some on there, so let me just fill those in. Oh and the nice thing is if you miss something, you can just go back and get it. Right. Oh, this is nice with this clear plate, because I can see exactly where this right. one's going. <laughs> it's like, what is oh wow, it's snowflake. Okay, great. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? Let me see. Let me see. Precious! Sweet. Yeah. I like that. Oh, right? like it. They're fun, right? All right. I feel like I want to do another one. What do I want to do? I was going to say, I'm just doing the simple things over here. And I know in this area, we don't really have like snowflakes and stuff. So I could have actually omitted the snowflakes. Don't you but... dare omit the snowflakes. How do you like the pumpkin one with the snowflakes. with the gold with the copper leafing? I love it. I love the computer. All right. Well, I feel like it's probably the finish on these particular plates that maybe are making it maybe here funky. I wonder what they have on there. Then. This one on like no problem. The clever ones. Some did. sort of a no stick. Surface. I don't know. I mean, yeah. It just it feels like it's. I don't even know how to explain it. It just it had to have been it because the glass because it took went on so well easily. I don't know what the difference is, but oh my god, he's so cute! All right, shut it up close so they can see all the detail. Can you? There we go. Give it to Sue to throw it up there. <laughs> he's so cute. I love them. Again, you can see all the little. You see all it? Okay. And then we just need to bake his little butt at one eighty-five for. Yeah. Yeah, I got pop in the oven like that, like 10 toast minutes. them up. Right. So, um, here, hand me my other truck too, so we oh. can see. Very cool. What do you want me to try? Oh, I just want them to be able to see the all the the, the wonderful Those color. Those literally no, look here, like they, they came it. purchased that way. Like that's how easy that is to do. That is. That's so cool. And you can make and make and make and make. These are like seventeen. The stencils are like seventeen dollars. Um, the little paints are like $4.99 for the samplers. And again, with the Fusion, the nice thing is, you're still going to want to heat press it. Okay. But with the Fusion, I can wash these. 
Because and, it's built in top coat. And you could do in. this on a t-shirt. Mm -hmm. Like, yep. said, like how cute frame. would this be on a t-shirt mm -hmm. or a sweatshirt, something mm -hmm. like that? Like a nice fuzzy hoodie. A nice fuzzy hoodie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, where like if you love the the farmer's market type stuff uh -huh. and this is you, like That's you could true. do it on everything. You could make a piece of art out of it. You know, you could. fall art, like a sign. You could put it on a throw, just like on a plain throw. Yeah, so, I mean, there's so much you can do with it. Mm -hmm. um, they're totally reusable, easily washable. The fusion is easy. Um, to do it on fabric, you just need a nice stiff brush. Mm -hmm. um, we should have a stencil brushes in stock uh, this week because I know they awesome. shipped. I know they shipped. Okay. Um, you can, and before you heat set this, like you could even sand this and distress a little mm -hmm. bit more. But I really feel like when you oh the shading is like just the shading awesome. just really makes it like that next professional it's dimensional level. Mm -hmm. yeah like that next level of professional kind of thing and like on the tree you can see where I rubbed at it and so this is again mm -hmm. with this shiny where if you rub at it a little if you take the sandpaper to it you'll pull back a little mm -hmm. bit of the of the gold under here a little mm -hmm. more heat set it with an iron whatever the setting is for the fabric you're doing right so this is. Um, this is burlap actually, so you're not gonna want it that high of a setting. Yeah, plus it's got these little things. Yeah, we don't wanna melt. And you can always things. put a, a cloth or a washcloth or something mm -hmm. over the top, a cheap um, like a, napkin a cheap napkin mm -hmm. from Ikea. I mean, again, so just so freaking cute. Like yeah. these would be great if you did these on here and then they're- You have a little set, like a matching set. Yeah, and then they're a little for your, for your kitchen. Exactly. Um, this is fun. Well, she so she loves it. Thank you. Who does? Who, does? Who was it? Oh, well, nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah, so I think it's fun. It's really easy. Oh, my gosh, it is. Um, it's... And this can really give a lot of mix and match. If you want the stencils, if you want the paint, if you want the brushes, any of that mm -hmm. is on our website at ravehomecollection.com, and um, including the gilding size and the... Um, the gilding paper. We have we have the silver, copper, leafing. and gold. Right. Yeah, the leafing. Right. Silver, copper, and gold. And I really do love my pumpkins. He's cute. I, like, the I think the shading is my favorite, like around yeah. the truck and the tree. It just it, it gives it a dimension. It gives it more like than just a flat. I agree. I, I just like it. I think it's fun. All right, guys. Oh yeah, and I love the little pieces. And these are just yeah, and I mean they they, are, they really do look cute on napkins. And you can personalize oh. little plates, like for holiday dinner. You could put little, you know, you could make them personalized, and then right. people can take them home. And we've got like all the alphabet for Jamie Ray, mm -hmm. um, so you could do like personalized napkins. Mm -hmm. That'd be um, sweet, it'd be really fun. Yeah. Well, as usual, we appreciate you guys. We thank you for sticking with us and watching our makeover Monday. Yeah. Um, we, we will be, be back, back on Wednesday, Wednesday at two o'clock. For our thrift haul thrift Wednesday. Haul. Yep, yep. And, and then back on Friday. Oh, Sue, do you want to give a peek at that piece? Do you want to turn the camera real quick to oh, see? Oh. Because that got sanded and, and waxed. This is what we did last week. Uh, kind of a there. peek, but no, we okay. don't really. So I figured you're probably holding out on that one. Uh, can't see how I'm looking at it, but you can see all the sanding on there. A perfect match it's to the table that it's pretty. getting painted for. Perfect. Like to, to go with. Gorgeous. I can't wait to see all this furniture in this perfect. sweet lady's house. All right, y'all. We will see you Wednesday, Wednesday 2, 2 p.m. Thank you for watching. And if you're joining us on YouTube, be sure to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. April says, hey, Teresa. Hope you enjoyed your time off. She hey, she, thank you, April, very much. Appreciate it. I saw one of your tables table. sold, by the way. Didn't know if you knew that. One of your tables sold. Yeah. Okay. Right. Thanks, guys. Really? See you guys Wednesday. Bye, guys. Bye. Peace out.